Welcome to our daily rosary meditation. Let's begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's call to mind all those we've promised to pray for. What does the path of spiritual perfection look like according to Teresa of Avila and John of the Cross? Well, we exist to enjoy perfect union with God. That's the reason for you. It's your purpose. So how does it happen? How do we get to the point where we're perfectly united with God? Roughly, there are three phases to the journey. First, you have to prepare yourself to meet God. Then, you actually meet God and get to know Him. And finally, He makes you perfect so that He can enjoy you perfectly and you can perfectly enjoy Him. Now, many people will spend their whole life on the first step. In this life, they are just preparing themselves to meet God. Then, when they die, they actually meet God in their particular judgment. And finally, they go to purgatory until they're made perfect and ready to enjoy God's company. But the saints have assured us that it's also possible by God's grace to go through these three stages here in this life. So what does that process look like? Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. Oh, my Jesus. Forgive us our sins, <clears throat> save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Most of us don't start out having profound mystical experiences. In fact, many of us have never had a really radical, intense experience of God at all, which is fine because we know what we need to do in the meantime. We need to get ourselves ready to meet God. First of all, that means faithfulness to prayer. As St. Teresa says, don't let anyone deceive you by showing you a road other than that of prayer. And it means working really hard to love others which doesn't mean to have good feelings about them. Love means to do good for them, regardless of how you feel. 
and most of all, to forgive offenses and to do thank, thankless tasks. And it means growing in humility and detachment. Detachment from whatever we want. Detachment from physical comfort, which Teresa calls the two in inseparable sisters, humility and detachment. Now, it might be an embarrassment to meet God if he came to us while we were in the state we're in. So if he delays from revealing himself to us directly in prayer, then now is our opportunity to make ourselves presentable when he does come. And this is the primary work of the first stage of our spiritual journey. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou Thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, my Jesus. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Step two, meeting God firsthand. Whether in this life or at our judgment immediately after death, God is going to show himself to us. Normally, that only happens in this life after we've taken the time and effort to prepare ourselves for meeting him by the commitment, first of all, to daily meditation and a resolution, which helps us to work on virtue and detachment. Usually, it's only then that the Lord begins to let us experience him by mystical insights mystical delights, a powerful sense of God's presence, a divinely granted stillness, even perhaps supernatural images or communications that are imparted to the soul. Now God is showing himself to the soul, and the soul is amazed by how wonderful God is, and the soul begins to taste and see the goodness of the Lord. And as the soul gets to know God through these glimpses, it begins to be filled with an overwhelming desire to be with God perfectly and permanently. St. John of the Cross describes the process as being wounded by the experience of God, a wound that fills the soul with insatiable desire for the Lord. Meeting God 
encountering his goodness in these intermittent, fleeting ways, makes the soul want more than anything to be with God always. And this desire strengthens the soul to go through the final process of being made perfect. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. With thee, blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Step three, the final purgation. We cannot fully be with God. We cannot fully enjoy God until all our selfishness, all our sins, all our disordered thoughts and feelings are finally taken away. And to some souls, God offers a purgatory on earth, a time of intense spiritual and perhaps physical suffering that acts as a kind of detox and finally removes all the things that prevent us from being united with God. St. John of the Cross calls this purification the dark night of the spirit and says it's a frightful night. St. Teresa says that the suffering of contemplatives can be intolerable and that more active, busy people couldn't endure one day of that kind of contemplative endurance. But it's worth it because at the end there is perfect happiness, peace, tranquility, perfect integrity, and a sense of God's presence that is steady and uninterrupted. Once you reach this state of perfect bliss, the transition from earth to heaven is as simple and straightforward and easy as walking through a thin veil. As John of the Cross says, the death of such persons is very gentle and very sweet and as easy as walking through a very thin veil. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother Amen. of God. Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall it be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Now, most of us are probably just in this first stage. And Teresa of Avila and John of the Cross are very clear that the most important thing to do in this first stage is commit to daily meditation and a resolution. So, very practical resolution would be that if you're struggling to do daily meditation every day, make make a commitment for that during Lent. The Rosary podcast is an easy way to do that. If you're already doing this, as we've suggested the last couple of days, allow the Lord to draw you deeper in friendship with Him. Spend a little more time with Him each day by reading and reflecting on the Word of God through Scripture or the lives of the saints, or some other good of book of meditation. And the first thing that strikes you when you're reading, stop reading and just think about it and apply it to your life. But all of us should end every meditation with a practical, concrete resolution that will help us grow in virtue. But maybe you're doing all of that already and you're feeling the desire to do as John of the Cross says, to spend time with Jesus in unconcern and idleness, not reading, not thinking, but just sitting with God. If that's where you're at, make the commitment and take that step. But how sad it would be to only think of ourselves wouldn't it be better to also invite others to grow in friendship with Jesus this Lent? So, not only make a commitment for yourself, make the commitment to invite others to share this rosary link with them. And the double benefit is, for every time you share, you get an entry into our drawing for the Holy Land. So, since we're probably all in this first stage of this preparation for union with God, let's make the commitment to our next right step in prayer. Let's all do a resolution every day 
and let's invite others. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee blessed art thou among women blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning as now and ever shall it be world without end amen oh my jesus forgive us our sins save us from the fires of hell lead all souls to heaven especially those most in need of thy mercy Saint Michael the Archangel, defend, defend us in battle, be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, Teresa, what were you reflecting on as we were thinking about these three phases of the journey to God, the purgative, where we prepare ourselves, the illumin illuminative, where we actually meet God, and finally, the unitive, where he makes us perfect. Mm. I think it's so hard to break the very human habit of seeing these things as somewhat impossible. The, the, the kind of perspective where you're thinking of it like, as you said in the meditation, like, I'll do that when I'm in purgatory. It's a very difficult leap to make, and it's... Because mm, at the same time, it is... We, we're just called to live our lives as Jesus taught us to. But this, this feels like a grand step and I can't tell if I'm, I'm missing either the simplicity of it or that it that it is just this this great unfathomable step to take to see it as saints do you've expressed it perfectly because we all feel that way mm. I think it's partly because we've never been told or never fully convinced of the purpose of life and that's why we had the last meditation on heaven as transforming union and spiritual marriage mm. that the goal of life the reason we've been created the reason that jesus came the reason that he gives us the eucharist is so that we can be in such a perfect union with god 
that we actually become God by participation. And that's supposed to start in this life. But either A, we don't want to give up the sins and vices we like to get there, or B, we're afraid of the purifying sacrifices and suffering that it's going to take to get there. So we don't want, we don't want to do it. It does feel kind of like you've already been walking for a long time and you're exhausted and you look up and you're at the bottom of a mountain that you got to get to the top of. Well, this is the first, the first thing we have to do is realize we don't have to climb on our own. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's, it's in one sense, it's not about climbing a mountain. Mm -hmm. It's about allowing God to carry you where he wants to take you. In fact, the great danger is self-reliance, mm -hmm. to, to try to do thing, everything by our own effort. Yeah. And it's more about accepting our, our weakness, our limitations, and surrendering to Jesus and asking him to do it for us. Because where, where he wants to take us is perfect happiness. Mm -hmm. But we don't believe it. He wants to take us to perfect happiness really fast. And all he's asking us to let go of are all the things that ruin life. I think that's the, that's the difference is I feel like it's easy to let go of the physical things, but this, this is a great spiritual endeavor. It is. But again, what he's asking us to let go of it's so funny. He's asking <laughs> us to let go of pride and the seven deadly sins. Uh, and in other people, we see how it ruins their lives. Mm -hmm. And we can point it out so quickly. And it's so obvious. But when it comes to our own lives, we don't want to let go of them. But they're still ruining our happiness. I'm agreeing with all of this, but I still think my issue is something different. What's your in issue? In the sense that it's not... I think it's, I don't want to say easy. It seems like a, an easier endeavor to change your actions and to remove things from your life and to stop doing things. But this, this other step, this, uh, this great contemplation, that's what seems really difficult. Why? I mean, it's not something that, it's not something that you do. Mm. It's something that's given. Okay. This is, maybe this is a really good point. We emphasized in the meditation that our job is to prepare for his coming. Mm -hmm. Only he can give himself to us. We just get ready. Okay, I can follow that. And we, the best way to get ready is daily meditation and a resolution. Because a resolution is going to help you identify and get rid of the, the vices and the sins and do mm -hmm. the right actions. All we have to do is, is prepare. He does all the rest. Now, no one can see you but right now you are reflecting deeply. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to chew on that for a while. What part? All of it. Good. We have all the rest of Lent <laughs> to be discussing these spiritual things. Good. Well, let's be apostles of friendship, good conversation, and the rosary. Share this with others. And each time you share it, you'll get one entry to win a pilgrimage, any of our pilgrimages. So all you have to do is share the link in the show notes or at the bottom of this episode. It's share the rosary link.
If you like this, join us on our app. You'll find the link below.